What's up everybody? Today we are going to talk about bags for your soft plastic fishing lures. It's a topic I see come up a ton in a lot of the Facebook groups I'm in, you know, for bait makers and things like that. I'll put a link to some of my favorites down below, by the way, so you can come hang out with me and all the other cool people. But it comes up all the time like, hey, where do I get bags? How do I do bags? Bags, 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 bags. So, I want to put together a video of what at least I know about bags, how we got our bags at WM Bayou, and some tips so you don't make the same mistakes that we did. So let's go. All right, first up, let's look at the basic bag, just the bag. I say bag. I have some eggs and a big. You kind of have two options here. One is this bag I got from clearbags.com. It's really just like a Ziploc bag. Um, super cheap material, uh, not rigid at all. Like just like your normal Ziploc bag, really. They just offer them in different sizes. I use this bag primarily to send baits to testers, send them to my business partner, Brian, so he can test them out and give them to some of those guys in Michigan. You know, just dirt cheap bag. If you're producing custom baits, you probably want to avoid a bag like this. If you're like in the last video, I said, you know, you can order bulk uh, baits from like D&J Plastic, etc., that are standard run-of-the-mill baits. You know, a bag like this might make sense if you're going for like a budget option. You can do like a little fold-over cardboard uh, hanger on there and just staple it on there. I've seen plenty of baits sold that way, but from my perspective, like you are clearly advertising like this is a budget lure. This is your uh, you know 20 pack of grubs of standard colors that you buy for 10 cents a piece or whatever. That's what this bag conveys and that fold over stapled on, you know, paper label thing. You're in the budget zone. Nothing wrong with the budget zone. This is where you are. Next up, we have kind of what I'll say is your standard bait bag. Uh, I think these came from baitplastics.com. You can get them at Barlow's. Uh, you can get them at just about any lure part supply house, plastisol supply house. And these are kind of like the standard bags there. Obviously, I think you guys probably know what these bags are like. Every bait maker kind of uses the same material. They're thicker, they're stiffer. Uh, they have a Ziploc uh, thing on the top. Oh, it's usually pretty tough to get open, right? Um, but again, standard bag. You can get these in various sizes and, and dimensions, basically. They come with a hanger, which is nice if you're gonna do a store display. Um, and this at least puts you in the not budget category. Uh, we're not quite at like, real lure company bags yet, but we're pretty close. So from a material standpoint, this is the bag you want to use, I think, regardless of what you're doing, um, which will go into like the different ways you can make this bag your own here next, but this is the bag you want. Don't get anything weird. Okay, now that you have the bag, how do you make it your own? And I'm gonna start with the budget option, which is stickers. So here's a friend of WM Bayou, ETC Baits. He's out of San Marcos, California, makes some really cool baits. Uh, I told you guys I started this channel to help people launch lure companies and ETC Baits is one that I've helped um, just by sharing knowledge and things through these videos. Super cool goo, goo? <laughs> Super cool guy, makes awesome fishing lures. This is his worm with a hollow tail. You can put in rattles and stuff in there. He's got a bag and he's got a sticker. This is kind of the super simple way to get started. Buy a bunch of bags, get a bunch of stickers made. You can get those made online. They're usually pretty cheap. Um, here's a, like a pro tip. If you go search on like Google or Facebook from your computer for like stickers, as you go back to Facebook and start surf, uh, surfing again, you'll get tons of like introductory sticker offers uh, in your feed for like, you know, 400 stickers for, you know, $20 or whatever it is, right? You'll get pretty steep discounts on your initial order. You can order a bunch of uh, stickers. You'll have to design them, of course, and we'll talk about uh, where to get that done in a future video. But this is kind of like the bare bones here, right? I got my company logo on there. I have a size and a quantity on here. Um, do I have, let's have a color? He doesn't have a color, right? I would suggest putting a color on here somewhere uh, and a model number on here somewhere, but you get the idea, right? It's a sticker. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, certainly the cheapest way to get branded uh, packaging, if you will, for your lure. Get a bag, put a sticker or multiple stickers on it, and away you go. By the way, check out this insane water dog from ETC Baits. I'll have a link in the description for his website. This is a killer, killer looking water dog bait with an awesome tail. 
Highly recommend picking up a bag of these. They're super cool. Again, link in the description below. All right, the next kind of level, and I think maybe the highest level of bag you can get is the screen printed bags that you see all of the big lure manufacturers use. And we use them at WM Bio as well. So here's the Techno Frog bag, right? So it is screen printed on here, multiple colors, just like you'd screen print a t-shirt. So you have them printed front and back with obviously whatever you want to put on there. There is no place in the United States that I know of that does this. I've talked to several other manufacturers that are much bigger than me who try to source all the stuff in the United States and it simply doesn't exist. There is a gentleman, oh, I forget his name, I'll put it below here when I find it, uh, that offers design services, probably for stickers or for bags. He has a supplier he likes to use. I use a supplier out of China as well. Uh, Lydia Chin is the salesperson I go through. I have a link to their site below. She's also on Facebook. That's where I did like all the business. Uh, she was great to work with. The process is super simple. And uh, you know, she's a good salesperson. So if you reach out to her, she's going to reach back out to you over and over again. Thanks, Lydia. So the process to get a screen printed bag is they're going to ask you what size, right? They have standard sizes. Uh, then they're going to send you a template uh, file. Then you want to build the bag the logo, the graphics, all the stuff you want on the bag, front and back, et cetera, et cetera. We'll cover some tips on that in just a second. Uh, but generally speaking, you want someone who is somewhat knowledgeable about graphic design to do that for you. Uh, you know, if that's you, that's fine, you can do it. Um, but again, someone kind of would like some graphics knowledge to do that. You send that off to them. They're gonna give you a quote back. Um, you know, you're gonna be looking at spending roughly seven cents to 16 cents a bag all in. The big variable there is the quantity you order and the number of colors you have. And speaking of quantity, like you can't just order like 100, right? We had to order, but well, we didn't have to. I think we ordered 15,000 of these uh, Techno Frog bags. Uh, we have a new bag design coming in that we ordered 10,000 of. Uh, so 10,000 bags all in with shipping and everything to our door was $1,600. So 16 cents a bag roughly. Uh, and that's, I think we ended up with like six colors, something like that. Um, so the more colors, the more price you have. So another thing to keep in mind when you're dealing with a supplier in China is that obviously it's gonna take a while to get from here to there and the manufacturing process, et cetera. I wanna say that, you know, it's roughly four to six weeks to get 10,000 bags from China. Once you send them the completed uh, template file that you have, uh, you know, you'll get four to six weeks. Obviously, COVID, international shipping, blah, 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 could be more. Uh, hopefully soon it'll be less but that's what you're looking at roughly. Okay, bag design tips. Number one, keep it simple. Not something we're good at at WM Bio, honestly. Uh, we have tend to have a lot of colors on our designs, uh, but the less colors you have, the less cost you have, the less time it's gonna take to produce them. If you wanna see someone who's very, very good at this is Six Cents uh, Lures, Six Cents Lures. Uh, they just have like a black, I think there's maybe some white on there. Um, but it's like one or two colors, right? And that's it. Like that's a, a really good bag design from a budget perspective. Obviously it fits their brand and everything, right? Uh, but they keep their costs down that way. Second tip I have is to keep it generic. We screwed up on this one at WM Bio with the Techno Frog, right? We ordered bags with the name of the lure on them. Why is that a bad thing? We can't use those bags for any other lure, right? And we have 15,000 of them, so hey, Buy some Techno Frogs, bro. Discount code in the description. Help me out. Right, but that's like, that really causes problems as you grow your company, as you produce more lures, you now can't use these bags, right? So if you produced a lure that is not selling, you can't do anything with those bags. You're kind of stuck, right? So don't be dumb like me. So a good example of this is the guys over at BioBait. I fished these lures a ton before I started making my own. They're actually bags are made in the same factory that our bags are made in. And you can see here that you have no name on there. Very, very uh, straightforward, easy. And they do have a sticker with their UPC code, the model number, the color that they stick on everything, right? So you get a nice normal bag, nothing fancy. And they can use this with any lure they make, right? So you can order 15,000 of these bad boys and use them over and over again for all your lures pretty much until 
you hire a marketing department and they decide they want to use different colors now or something crazy like that, right? Oh, I want to call out one other thing that's on this bag that I think is important to keep in mind. You'll see here in the corner, they have a California Prop 95, is it? Uh, Prop 65, sorry. You know that warning you see on everything in California that it, you know it contains chemicals known to cause cancer? Right, so you probably want that on your bag because the plastisol that you use and probably the bag itself, I mean, everything on the planet has something known, known to cause cancer in the state of California. Uh, get that popped on there. We didn't put it on our bag. It's gonna be on our new bags. Uh, it saves you a sticker here and um, it's important if you're ever gonna sell lures in California. You don't wanna deal with lawyers. And the final tip I wanna give you is make sure in your design you leave plenty of room to show the actual lure. I know that sounds pretty basic, right? But one thing that um, you know, we messed up on, and I think the BioBait guys also kind of messed up on, is you know, you, you're selling the thing that's in the bag. You're not selling the bag. So BioBait does a pretty good job of leaving this whole bottom section pretty clear, right? And they made, um, I, I guess, I don't know if I'd call it a mistake, right? But you know, the back is completely covered, just like the back of our Techno Frog bag is completely covered, right? So that's not the end of the world. Obviously you have the front, right? Our front is way too busy here on the Techno Frog. But um, on our new bag, we have like nothing on the back at all. It's just completely clear. So when you're in the boat, grabbing them out of the tackle, when you know someone at the store has dropped them on the ground, you can see your lure through the back, right? Like look at this bag from ETC Baits, right? You can see all the lures in the back. And that's nice, right? Super convenient. All right guys, links in the description to people who can help you design the bags, order the bags if you wanna go with the screen printed ones, and links to a few places that you can buy the just clear bags if you're gonna go the sticker route, and a few sticker links of companies that I've used for stickers. Hope that helps guys, take care, tight lines.